We're gonna go BAM! <laughs> right back up the same way we came down. Oh no! <laughs> that didn't work out at all. <laughs> Good day, and welcome to another episode of Rolling Line. Let's go on in and check things out. Okay, so last time, went ahead and completed some of the bridges and details around the track that uh, I'd recently added around the room. Tried a few different little things, like some pillars and underwater pillars. <laughs> tried just building a rock face, though I just realized that the rock face with these bricks here just don't quite match up quite very well. Might have to update that a little bit. And I also put some hidden mountains <laughs> back behind the wall here that can only be seen while at train view, or track view, miniature view, whatever you want to call it. Added a few more tunnels completing the track all the way around. I still do I still need to add something along these tracks here, but gonna work that but gonna work on that another day. Today I wanna try focusing on connecting basically all three levels of tracks together. And I was gonna do that in a way that my dad and I had originally planned on doing with our train set, and that is Essentially, behind the scenes, in our case it would have been in another room um, through a hole or a tunnel into another room where we would build a spiral staircase. I'm unsure exactly on which side of the layout I was thinking of building it. If it was the one my dad and I was building, the room would have been right over in here. But we also have this mountain right here, kind of in the way of where I would probably put it. So... Hmm... I might put it right here on this, on this side right here. Where the train tracks would split off, go around a spiral, Spiral elevator? Spiral um, track case? <laughs> kind of like staircase but different? Uh, from bottom to top. And each level would be able to go around from one to the other. So with that being said, we'll go ahead and get started. Why does it look like it's not raising anymore? What if I accidentally flattened it out? Because all should be going up at the same level and same height. It's definitely getting closer. <laughs> That's. It's gonna mess up the spiral. Dang it. If I have an idea. So if I complete the spiral going around. These 
past that point. And then we take out track two. Put in is that the sharpest turn I got? Actually no I don't think so. Not this one. Now even though it doesn't match up, or it may not match up perfectly, okay, it does. <laughs> I could have used a link piece to, to connect them together and get back right back on track. That's funny. A little short. Making a flex track. <laughs> Wonder if I'll make it all the way. Nope. Doesn't even try. Oh, I like that one though. <laughs> yes! Let's see the train drive that. <laughs> no way. Can't even see the track. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, that's the easy way to do it. <laughs> that's hilarious. Let's see that again. Full speed ahead. That's not full speed ahead. Twists. Made it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. That's hilarious though. Might be able to live with that. <laughs> Give that a shot. Just afraid I'm gonna start going too steep if I keep adding them and then move them upwards. So I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm continually going steeper and steeper or what. I'm also not sure why these keep getting closer and closer either. It's just a figment in my imagination. I swear it looks like they're getting closer again. It'd be kind of nice if they had like a an angle gauge telling you exactly what angle you have the track sitting at at the point of um, prior to placing it like right here and say look the angle is at 45 25 2 1 8 whatever <laughs> oops try that again it's like that one's shrinking too So like every time I make a complete circle it tries to flatten itself out. The angle at which I'm placing it at? I don't know, it's just weird. I 
think we might be close enough to be able to finish this off here. levels. Of course in my uh, dad's and I's version we would have uh, thin layers of plywood underneath the track spiraling up with poles running up the sides holding the, the plywood in place probably like every foot or two. Alright so I think the outside one, I think we should probably start from the top and work our way down. In which case, I think. Yeah, I'll eyeball this. So, a piece like about right here. Can go off in that direction. <laughs> Go that way. No, that way. That way. <laughs> Alright. This might be a toughie. I almost feel like we need to get a track sitting up here right next to it. I wonder. No, don't build off it. Well, next to it. Off snapping. Let's see how well that works. Oh wait. Let's turn snapping back on. Maybe. Hmm, wonder if that will cause any issues. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> it's like quite a mess, huh? There, that looks pretty seamless.
Excellent. You almost had it. Nice. Perfect. What were the chances of that? Okay, so... That curved that way. <laughs> Can't tell which way it's going to go. Looks like the right way. There you go. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see if we can get a tunnel here. Uh oh. It's gonna go too far out. Yeah, dang it. That's not good. I'm not happy. Take this one upstairs. Which oh, actually, I guess that would go downstairs. <laughs> it's the floating train <laughs> spiraling out of control. Full speed ahead. Gonna run into the other train first. Hmm. I think we are. <laughs> oh no. We're gonna go bam. Right back up the same way we came down. Oh no! <laughs> that didn't work out at all. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, yeah, it's taking out way too long. Dang it.
Wait, what? Oh, what? <laughs> Everything on the rails, everything working, everything's good. Hope so. Okay. Let's take it all the way up to the top. So it's gonna be on the outside track. Right? We'll make sure the outside track is going all the way up to the top. So it's going to come out and go that way. Then we've set this to go back down. So it'll come back down the inside track. Too bad the train tracks don't show up out here in the middle of nowhere. So if it's not set already, set the switch to go down, back down, avoiding the train in the middle there. And it looks like we already had it set. And heading back down. Inside track. Okay, I'm just gonna double check the inside track here. In which case. Oh, wait, we're gonna end up all the way back down at the bottom, huh? I didn't think about the fact that the inside track doesn't have a way to get back to the center. So, with that, you can go from bottom to middle, back to bottom, bottom to top, back to bottom. I'm thinking the middle could use another way to go up or down. It's already hidden back up. Nice.
Alright, well, I think that will do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.